All right, John Son. When this goes in here, and this fits tight as well, so I'd even like it smaller than this because I have to um, use a tool to try and get this out of here. But it goes down, and this flat right here goes up against that flat. But you see how this comes up to release it? That's why this diameter is so important. And so when I made mine, I made it at an angle like that. This diameter matches that diameter right there. And it allows, when it sat in there, it allowed this to come up enough to release it and then still left me a flange for my tool. And um, what I was talking about earlier with this here, like when you um, <clears throat> put these like this end to end, like that, the groove matches. But that's not the way it goes in. It goes like this. And when you put it like this, this end is long, this end is short. But over here, this end is long, and this end is short. Because if you match it like that, it matches long with long and short with short, but it's backwards. So I need to have it made to where this is identical on the tool and have that flat right there go up to a flange, but from that diameter right there so that when you lift this up, it has enough room to release the tool. And this is the one that I modified and I had ground this all down and cut off the end there to make this short and, and I had to ground off, grind off this to make this long and I had this working in the tool, um, fixed the groove, had it working in the tool, but then discovered that the threads were not right and in trying to put a die on these threads, and had this in my um, in my vise. Uh, as you can see, I twisted it and destroyed it because the amount of torque that I had to have to try and make these threads, and these threads were not salvageable with that die. So I'm sending all this back so that you guys can make me a couple of good pieces. Talk to you later.